Greetings and hello, my name is CG Plays and this is Takara Cards. Do the training first, welcome to this combat simulation. In this virtual place, you will practice basic maneuvers against our new opponents, the Dragon Drones. This simulation is three jumps long, with progressively more difficult scenarios. Some features are disabled in simulations, such as your race abilities. The interface is full of extra information. Try hovering your mouse or use the right analog stick over each element. Analyze the tactical grid and then act using the cards on the left. Pass the turn when you're done. Passing the turn recharges your batteries. Then enemies and other units will act in order from top to bottom. Each unit has their own behavior. Watch. Every unit has two informations. At the top, the overall power value. On enemies, this power shows both their hull and the amount of damage inflicted. On the bottom, there is an indication of the next action, such as attack or move. Not all units are harmful. Enemies give you mana or scrap when destroyed. Mana recharges your batteries. Scrap can be exchanged for money. Attention, units of the same type fuse when colliding, including your attacks. One last tip, your own ship is a weapon. Raise your defenses and throw yourself at your opponents. Try to clear the board every turn. A jump ends when the number of units or turns runs out. And pay no fret, you will get the hang of the UI little by little. Good training, cadet. All right, start simulation. All right, here we are, incoming threat. Ooh, hello, looking kind of jazzy here. So they all have one hit point slash damage, meteors and spinners. This meteor wants to move to the right. This meteor wants to move to the right. This one's going to the right. This one's going to the left. This guy's going to move off the screen. We get a bonus we kill everybody, right? This guy wants to come towards me. Okay. Got some guys off the screen here. So this is my health. I've got nine. This is my shield. I've got zero out of three. I've got some extra battery in the first turn. Lucky. And I've got three scrap cargo and I can hold 37 total. What's all this? Equipment deck, max capacity, influences scrap capacity. Energy bullets. Uh, energy bullets every turn. Okay, like, so it makes me get free cards, I guess. Got a discard pile over here. What's this? Show unit stats? Oh, you can just click this to have everything just be on, so I have to, like, hover over one per time. Okay. Neat. Oh, and if I hover over them, it kind of turns off. Interesting. Experience points. Used to train maneuver cards. So it looks like you can maybe level up your cards. Next level of knack, 1,000. Knack level. Improves some maneuvers. Increased by ex earning experience. Okay. So if I get 1,000 uh, XP points, my knack will go to level 1 or something? I don't know. I've got an auto thing here. I'm not sure what this does, but I can turn it on and off. Maybe it means it auto-scrolls through, like, whatever's going down on here. Yeah, yeah, it's like auto-scrolls it, auto it down, I guess. So you can kind of tell at a glance just by looking at this right here. This lets me move up, down, left, right. This lets me move diagonally. This, I'm guessing, gives me a shield and lets me move either left or right. So let me guess. Let me see. Uh, gain plus one shield, move to highlight tile, left or right, knack, common. So basically all you really care about is shown right here. You don't really need to read the little subtext every time. It just, you know, move up, down, left, right, uh, move up and move down, attack. Okay. This guy's going to move off the screen, so I want to take them out. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, I guess maybe we can uh, do a barrel roll for two energy. We shield up and knack indicates that the card will evolve at some level of experience. Cool. Do I get any experience on this card for using it, or the thing's just overall probably? Go down here. Um, do I gotta click myself? I can only move left or right with this. Never mind. Right click to cancel. I mean, I've got nine hull. I guess I can, uh, like, spare some. I will destroy everyone. I will get that breakout. So we lost one hit points there, but we got uh, one energy back. Because these guys charge our batteries to full and take them out. Okay. I guess I can move uh, diagonally over to here. We'll take some damage. That's fine. We've got hold of spare. Maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe the hit points carries in between runs. I don't know. Then we can uh, deal two damage and move the ship backwards. Probably not great, but whatever. Uh, click myself and we attacked up and took you out at the energy bolt. Interesting. The energy bolt's just chilling there. I thought the energy. I guess it took out their ship and now it's just like vibing. And I can just go ahead and uh, wait. Says I'm alone energy. Let me. I can't move. Yeah. Okay. Now I can click it. Move forward uh, up to here, and I guess that'll be our turn. Lost some hit points there, but well, we're learning. We end our turn. It says there's eight units left in this jump. So how many now? Okay, they the one went forward into my little thing. Oh, they can get destroyed by the meteorites. Interesting. Okay, I think it goes down top to bottom. Is it left or right? Or maybe that meteor would have taken out that ship. Got some mana spark. Gives me uh, energy back for battery. So that's one way of getting battery. Ooh, we've got other abilities. Fire fart. <laughs> Deal one damage on the back top, move the ship forward. That means that's one way to get this mana spark. All that is is just battery though, right? I mean, I guess I can shield myself up and uh, protect myself from the meteor damage and grab that break off. Wait, why'd I get a break off? What just happened? Hello? I don't understand 
what happened. All I did was take out a meteor and then a break off occurred and then just like the board got filled. I guess I can shield up and take up, take out one of these uh, fellows over here and get a, uh, they didn't give me a full recharge. I guess they only recharge uh, one. I can do a fire fart and then move forward to get that battery up there and we'll uh, fart backwards and grab that up there and okay. I can shoot forward like this, maybe, okay, you can't, I was hoping you'll destroy that thing off screen, but no dice. And I guess we just hang out here in the safety and end our turn. And something turned into scrap down there, not sure how that happened, okay. Not sure why the meteor took, it's like they're taking two turns to my one turn. Last turn? I guess these things up here pop on the screen and then also take their action, which is good to know, so they effectively go twice. I'll have to keep that in mind. Ooh, fairy riding. Deal two damage to the front top, move ship backwards. So I think what we want to do, I want to move diagonally over to here, perhaps. And then I want to move over to here. I think the meteorites are probably optional. And then I can do, does it matter which I do? Uh, I'll just do the energy bullets. Take you out, that destroys you. And uh, I guess we've just, uh, I should have tried to get the scrap, I guess. And then we end our jump, okay. Well, we're learning. It's just the, just the training area anyways. And incoming threats, this is still the tutorial? Probably, right? Or maybe not, maybe we're in a run now, I don't know. We got new enemies, Fire Spitter. One damage, attacks down. Um, battery full, leaves, shows what they leave too, okay. Look at my, I don't think it's a fresh run, let's look at my XP. It did say three jumps for the tutorial, so. This one, two more for the teaching. I wonder what happens if I let these guys like leave the screen. I'm not sure how I do this without taking damage. Doesn't seem like I can really. I guess I can uh, shield up and do this right here. I don't think anybody's going to... I mean, it depends what this... If this thing moves twice, it's just going to hit me every time, right? It's like you can't be in the front or middle row with these things coming in, taking two turns. So I can't even see what their action's going to be. I need an attack that doesn't, like, move me backwards at the same time. If I want to avoid damage. I'll, 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 I'll end turn here. See what they do. Oh, they just... Okay, it's actually good to leave the ones in the top row because the things behind them, like, destroy them sometimes. Okay, so note to self. Ignore the top row. I, I, you, I want to be down here, I think. That way, that way I'm attacking these, and things, these up here are getting wrecked by the ones above them. It would be nice to get the scrap, I guess. I don't see anything particularly good here, I'm just, uh, but I, like, I, you only have so many turns, so I have to, like, find a way to make this work. I wish I knew if these meteorites counted for the eight. I guess I can move over to here, and I can use the fire fart, not that I really want to move forward, to, uh, take out that behind me. And then I'll move out of the way of pain over here, and end my turn. And, yeah, like, they just, they tend to destroy themselves more than anything. Although they are, seem to be immune from, uh, attacking each other here. What happened down here? I didn't see it. Maybe they attacked? I'll look up here. It says there's five left, and I see one, two, three, four, five. So I'm guessing the meteorites, uh, don't count? Meteor debris, rather? There we go, barrel roll. Wait, you're, wait, you, you've got three hit points, that's right, because they combine. They're not destroying each other, they're combining. I guess we're just gonna take some damage here, so let's go ahead and yeet into that and take some pain there. I guess we can fire right here and destroy that, and we're out of energy, so we, I guess, end our turn, and that ends our jump, I guess? I guess we don't have to... I guess we don't... we don't have to... it's it's either one or the other. It ends when I either take out all these, or I run out of turns, so realistically, it... just try to survive and not take damage? Get new enemy types. Mind Jumper. Two damage. Micro Jump. Explodes. I don't know what this little icon means, I guess it just jumps around randomly? I guess I can do a barrel roll into the meteor, because why not, I suppose. And I guess I can ta attack you and then tank some damage. I think tanking damage is just going to be a thing, maybe? I don't know. I I want to get this scrap, but it seems dangerous. So we'll end our turn here. So if they hit the scrap, I guess they get destroyed and turn to scrap as well. Ooh, their bullets are doing... These kind of teleport random, I guess. I can use my energy bullets on myself to attack that, and I have nowhere backward move, so I kind of stay there. I guess I can move up here to maybe, like, get myself positioned to get that scrap sooner or later, and then, uh, end our turn here. It's like they ran to the scrap and did not get destroyed. Oh, you shot me, so they moved forward and took their attack. Okay, well, it's kind of went off the screen there. So I think my goal is I'm trying to, like, attack as much as I can, get as much XP as I can, and get some scrap, and also try to, like, minimize damage to myself. Battery empty. Oh, that's what the battery is. Battery full, battery empty. That's if they can attack or not. So now it's just, it's like, it's a non-threat right now. Spinner, four damage, moves bottom right, leaves, okay. I think it just shoots four, maybe? I mean, I could battle roll you to get, like, your scrap or whatever, take some damage, but get the goods, energy bullet forward, take you out, get some goods, break off. 
still don't understand what causes a break off because I didn't clear the entire board. There's one guy still there. And I got, I got, I got my batteries charged back up though. I can gain a shield here and uh, take you out. No damage to myself. Not sure I want to move. I feel fairly safe here, so I guess we end turn and these things move forward. And I guess maybe it's if ships. No, this they, this ship moved into a ship of a different type and they combined. I'm not sure. It must be meteors that hit them that turn into a scrap. Otherwise, they just seem to combine with each other. I can do an energy bolt to take out the one in front of me here. Uh, be rid of you. I think the energy, does the, did I get scrap for that? Does, the, does that just like destroy the scrap? I don't know. I can barrel roll into you. That should give me a little bit of energy back. I got two energy back. Nice. And I can do a uh, fairy riding to uh, attack you in the front there. Um, it didn't actually take you out though. Did it drain your battery or something? Uh, I hope you don't attack me. Um, I want to move away somewhere. For science, do I get hurt by my own little blast there? No, it just moves my blast forward. That's good to know. We end turn. That's why we test things for science and we're out of there. All right, that's the end of the training. I want me to read the Karma Codex. All right, what's this codex? Seems like there's a lot over here. I can use A and D to go back and forth between it. I'm guessing I can like click these things. Okay, it looks like there is a lot of kind of like very uh, like explaining things on the UI kind of going on over here. Yeah, there's a there's a whole lot going on over here. I can kind of go through it bit by bit in case somebody wants to pause the video and read some of it. But I feel like this is a bit of a information overwhelm at this point, really kind of a lot. All right, now we can try an actual run play. Oh, there's character creation. In addition to species and appearance, you also choose your reputation, and with it you're starting karma. Karma influences your attributes and fate. Certain karma attracts certain events. Each decision taken can bring you new karmas, which eventually coagulate into new reputations for your character and ship. These new reputations attract more events, creating a cycle. Alright, so we have uh, different species we can check here. Each federation race pilots its own type of ship. By choosing the species, you also define the ship you'll pilot. Okay. We'll uh, choose species first. So this one's just explaining. So there's four species, I guess. Semblance. Okay. We have dwarves under development. So it looks like only the dwarves are available right now. Okay. And we can choose our appearance. Different like characters are all very dwarf-like. Kind of like this dude. Got the little eye thing going on there. Reputation. In addition to its own effects, every reputation comes with a karma. Karmas add up and get stronger, sometimes enhancing the effects of reputations. So I guess these are like your abilities. Hope. Blessed. Fixes hull plus three when leveling up. Fixes and equip when leveling up. Interesting. Expanded debt doubles the debt limit. Uh, there's you can use debt limit to repair the hull, so you can like oh you can like borrow money to fix yourself up. Okay. So there's just a lot of different abilities here to take a look at. I'm not really sure which one we want. I guess I'll have to figure that out. I kind of like this one, Metal Ancestry. I don't know what impetus after uh, using scrap is, but I have a chance to gain shield when collecting scrap. That seems fairly useful. So I think we want that. Start the mission. Oh, what is all this? Draconian signal detected and locked. Nine jumps left at destination. Good luck on your exploration internship, cadet. Oh, cool. So it is multiple jumps, not just like one long one. Explore the cosmos and karma fully, but remember your mission. Find the whereabouts of the dragons. And we get to choose our response. Ah, uh, we're, we're like, we're choosing our attributes. I'll spare no resource to find them means I'm like, a, so I probably start with extra money. With my focus and discipline, so a matter of time means I have like extra brains. I'll explore the ends of karma to find them. I've got extra something, maybe strength or determination. Let's go with uh, focus and discipline. Maybe the brain thing gives us a bonus there. I don't know, I've got some credits here. Galactic credits, debt limit minus 600. Distance to, to Decronian uh, signal, okay. So I've got six hit points, three shields, three batteries, 37 cargo capacity, dwarves impetus. Okay, neat. So you get bonus for destroying enemies, but you get a penalty for passing a turn with battery left over. So you want to use up all your batteries? Here's my maneuvers deck. Okay, you can select it. Neck indicates that the card will be evolved at some level of experience. Can I like, do things with it? I don't know. Communications uh, channel, accept message. You can get in contact with space stations and other signals to train new maneuver cards, repair your ship, among other things. The signals you may receive uh, may vary from sector to sector. Okay. Train maneuvers with pathfinders. Chance to move ship at random. Buy a something from garbage. Recharge plus one battery. Exhaust. Knack. Do I want to? I don't know if I do want to train that. I would like to upgrade this to have it be able to move like omnidirectionally. So kind of like upgrade. This costs uh, 233. I need experienced upgrades. We can't do it yet. Okay. Rational karma generated. I guess I, I guess that's what the brain was rational. Okay. No illicit equipment found. Neat. What's this C? I'm gonna press the C key. Okay. I'll look at my attributes here. Neat. Warm up the STG engine. I'm guessing that's how I like go to the next thing. 
about the jump panel. The jump panel shows the available star destinations to choose from. Each star on the panel will contain useful info, combat information, number of units, turns, and its environment, signals present in the landing sector. Once a destination is chosen, your ship will jump immediately towards it. Okay, so we're choosing what we want here. Open field, 18 units, two turns. High economy, 22 units, three turns. Uh, 19 units, two turns. Let's just, can we just go left to right? Let's do this one first. 18 units, two turns. Okay, there's a something for the eyes. A feast for the eyes. All right, here we are. Oh, it's a different looking ship. Okay. Got my five cards. Got the spinners. Got the mind jumpers. EMP spitters. Uh, okay. So the EMP spitters attack down. You move in your directions. This thing just teleports around. You don't want to hit it. What if I can teleport on you? Why can't I use this one? It's highlighted red there. Requires a uh, positive impetus. So I can't use because I don't have positive impetus. Okay. Ooh, hammerhead punch. Uh, three damage forward seems pretty good. I can do a fire fart to take out that guy behind me. We've got the guys in front of us that are a bit of an issue. Ooh, hammerhead turn. You move either left or right and then you can move backwards. It's like two, top, two in one turn. Here's the thing. I'm going to take damage no matter what I do by the looks of it. So I've got no movement cards. And everything that attacks is going to be moving up here. I guess I have one movement card. That's going to get me hurt if I use it. I guess I can use a barrel roll onto you. And as I destroyed you, so I lost the shield again, destroying you. But because you gave me scrap, I got another shield back, which is good. That's this guy's whole thing is I get a shield when collect scrap sometimes. Not sure what the odds are. I think I'm safe if I just wait here. So I'm going to end my turn. Those cards really worked out super great for me. Let you guys teleporting around. They seem to not... Uh, yeah, it goes top, down, left, or right by the looks of it, maybe? Let's see. Your battery's empty, so you can't do your micro jump. You can't... So are you just going to, like, going to stay still and I can barrel roll in front of you uh, safely? Wait, I thought it was down here. I'm up here. Here, rather. I'm just going to barrel roll into you because that worked out nicely for us last time. Took you out. Still got one shield. I guess you didn't give me a bonus there. No, no, you probably hit, from, hit me for two. I don't know. I use a hammerhead punch for damage. Maybe my, my... How do I check my impetus? Dwarf's impetus plus one for destroying enemies. Gotcha. You do not want to use... Ener you you got to use all your energy. Otherwise, you get, like, punished for it. So no juice left behind. Look at that. So we get bonus damage and stuff. Great. So I'll move back down to here. And I guess we're going to lose some because I'm going to have some juice left over and turn. We lose one for not using all my battery power, but unless it is... How did you... Because they went on and then they took their turn to hit me. I see. Okay. So I just have to assume these guys have a chance of hitting me. Okay. Apart from a scrap, I don't think... We, uh, I mean, you probably want to take out as many as you can for the scrap and the XP, right? I don't have to worry about these guys coming on because this is our last turn. I want to take out as many as we can, which is probably going to be two. Barrel roll. Well, you've got four hit points. Maybe not so much with that. All right, it's kind of roundabout, but I can do a barrel roll over here. I don't want to hit you because two gets one shield, and then I can do a hammerhead turn to gain two shield, and then move myself backwards, take you out. Got lots of shield, and took out somebody. And um, that's probably about it. I'd rather, I think I don't want to damage my hull. I'm not sure this thing even drops anything. Yeah, this thing leaves stuff. You don't even leave anything on destroy you, so you're not even really worth it. Like, I guess maybe for the experience points, let's go ahead and do a, a movement into you. Lose my shield, take some damage. Oh, well, you did damage past my shield. Oh, no, no, I got that shield from picking up your scrap. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I guess you had three hit points, right? Got a little bit of XP for it, though. Was it worth it? Probably not. Um, I guess I can do this just to... Maybe my impetus carries over in between runs, I don't know. Uh, or jumps. End our jump there. Uh, How do we do? I don't know. All right, we're back. High economic activity detected. Great. Um, we, it looks like we do keep our uh, impetus, which is good. Uh, go to comms here, and I want to repair my ship. What are my options here? I can click through all these. So I have train maneuvers. I have uh, ask around for new maneuvers. Uh, maneuvers, that's good. Get some new stuff. Sell equipment. So I can give her cards I don't want. Buy new equipment. Neat. And uh, Golden Horse, repair your hull with Centaurs, certified by the Golden Horse. One scrap equals 109? What? Just let me know how much scrap is worth. Oh, I can change which currency I'm using to repair it with. Where's my Where's my money even at? Let's just go ahead and repair our hull all the way up there. Beautiful. There goes our scrap, but at least we're fixed up, right? And it looks like our shield carries over in between. That's good. Space parts twin? What? The, what are these gnomes down here? Okay, interesting. And here we have uh, the queen's scrapyard. Can I buy your scrap? Ah, oh, this is where I sell my scrap. Okay. Um, 
Selling 20 or more gives you a chance to win prizes. Selling 10 or more gets you a free hull repair. Oh, I should have paid attention to that. Well, good to know. You can sell 10 and just get a free hull repair. Good to know. All right. So we made mistakes. I don't have the XP points probably to upgrade anything just yet, because it looks like it takes... I mean, some of the cheaper ones, maybe. Maybe we do that later. Um, what do we want now? 15 units, one turn. Do I want, I'm not sure if we want more turns or less turn. Let's do a lot of turns. Maybe... You know, more time to do stuff. All right, incoming threat. Here we are. It's, oh boy, there's a lot. Oh, hello, mind jumper. You have two. Yeah, attack for one. Okay, a little energy bolt or two. Okay, battery full micro jump explodes. All right, so I don't know where where your attack, what direction you attack from or two. This guy's gonna hit me if I'm not careful. I do have one shield, so I could just go ahead and fire fart, take that out, and then destroy you. Sure, let's do that little fire fart action to take you out, move myself forward. Mana spark there for battery. Don't really need that right now. You guys are going to hurt me, but I do have a shield to stop some of that, and I want to have no energy left. Or I could just move twice. Maybe we just move twice. Get ourselves uh, down over here, and then move back down over here. No batteries, keep our impetus high, which makes some of my attacks stronger. Hello, enemies. I see you bounce around. Ooh, they, they're buffing each other up. But when it teleported, it's went back down. Interesting. It lost its, like, buff when it teleported. That might be a glitch or something, or in intended, I don't know. Alright, we can use the hammerhead turn to gain two shield, which maxes out, move to highlight tile on the right, and move backward, and we can't move, like, all the way back, so let's go over there and just kind of chill, so. Got some nice shield, and then we can use the hammerhead punch to do five damage forward, and we'll move forward. Normally be, like, three damage, but our imp impetus over here is maxed. Love that for us. Plus two, it's great. And we have one battery we need to use up somewhere. This thing only attacks forward and back. Let's use a little, uh... Honestly, I could, you know, I've got three shield. I'm gonna use one of them to take this thing out here. Probably get some break off. I just don't understand what triggers breaks off. Maybe it's like... When there's, maybe these, maybe the mines don't count as enemies? I don't understand why that triggers sometimes. I only have two cards. I mean, I could do a barrel roll into you and have enough shield left over. Why not? We'll barrel roll into you and actually use up all my stuff there. Okay, still fine though. Um, I can, I don't, I, I don't have enough cards. I guess we just end turn and lose a little bit of the impetus there because we'd have all our batter used up. I don't understand the break offs. Did you destroy my scrap? Hopefully it's added to how much scrap you drop. So picking up the scrap is probably going to be pretty important, I think. I can use fairy riding to attack uh, you in front of me. Wait, that, not, that didn't destroy you? Did you have more than one hit points? What's going on? Well, I'm going to barrel roll and grab this scrap because I think getting scraps can be pretty important. And I guess I can use this, uh, fire fart? No. Hammerhead punch? Sure, let's just go ahead and, uh, use that and get that out of there. End our turn here. You have five now, six now, okay. I don't fully understand all the nuances of this game, but, you know, we'll figure out, I guess. Maybe some things powered you up before, I don't know. Last turn. Let's try to get as much scrap and stuff here as we can. My impetus, I think, is in the negative, actually. That's not great. I can do a barrel roll into you. I'll... End up at like zero shields afterwards because one plus one is two minus two hit points there takes me down to zero. That's fine. I can do a hammerhead punch, which should be able to take uh, you out in front of me. There we go. But I still took some damage. I guess I guess the explosion happens after my shield or something like that. I just need to know that these bomb guys they do more than they their number says. I guess I don't know that one shield there is probably from picking the scrap from. Do they even leave scrap? I don't know. It doesn't seem too hard to repair. Our, our shields, our hulls, so I think taking, like, as long as you make it out alive and come out with more than 10 scrap, you're probably fine. Let's use up my energy here, because I don't want to uh, waste my uh, impetus. Can I not use this? Alright, well, I guess we're gonna lose some impetus there. Or not. Oh, we ended our turn, so it doesn't, like, give us negative impetus at the end there. Message from the bank. Your idea was chosen by our algorithm for inspection. We ask that you fill in this report with all the financial information correctly. Our algorithms simulate our customers' karma with 66% accuracy. Uh, darn it, the giant suits want to turn my account inside out. Falming reports, pay taxes, withhold. I don't understand any of this. I guess we'll pay the taxes? Um, what does that mean? I don't know. Let's go to the, wait, communications? Anything going on here? Um... Clandestine market. Clans to move sh chance to move ship at random. Transfers battery into shield. Uh, pass turn. I don't know if I want that. I can buy some cards if I want to, or I can sell cards. Go to STG. No, we want communications. I guess there's not much in the in the area here to do anything with. I don't even have any currency because I haven't sold anything yet, so I think we just need to go to STG. And high economy might be good to go to to be able to buy stuff. 21 units, three turns, sure. Why not? Incoming threats, be terrified. Alright, it's got some scrap chilling already, I kind of want that. 
Not sure I can get it all. Meteor's gonna destroy this thing for me. I think we just barrel roll into you, and then we can uh, move backwards into this, and we're out of energy, so just end our turn there. And yes, things are getting destroyed up there. Ooh, the, the scrap stacks by the looks of things. Interesting, you attack that so you can't destroy the meteorites with your guns, and the meteorite took its turn and destroyed you. Okay. Okay, I can use the hammerhead turn to move myself over to here, and then we can, uh, ooh, what do we want to do? Do the hug legs to uh, destroy this, and then I can barrel roll into you. That's great. And I guess you can only heal if there's a spot to heal afterwards. We're out of energy, so we have to end turn here. Oh, I want to pick the scrap. Ah, they do destroy the scrap. That's unfortunate. You gotta get that scrap while it's there. Kick some cards. Hello. There we go. Thank you. The scrap just kind of sits in place. I can do a hammerhead punch uh, up to on you to go up there, and then I can do a move diagonal. I've got some shields, so I can just do one of these right here. I want to move myself onto this scrap. Would be nice. Thank you. Break off. I just. I guess if you take out enough things, curse. I mean, I did clear all the enemies there. Um. Ooh. I can. F uh. That's not what I want. I don't need damage to the back tail. I guess I can just move into to destroy you, because why not? We've got the shield to spare. And I can move... Do I want to move forward to that scrap? I've got the shield to defend against you. That's fine. That's what the shield's there for. And... Oopsie doopsie, we did a thing here. I guess I can move into this battery over here, if that serves any real purpose. And then move out of trouble and just hope you don't run into me. But I do have shields, so it's not the end of the world if you do bump into me. Now we're fine. Rotated your direction. Oh, so if it's pointing off, it just rotates and goes the other way. I want the scrap. All right, I can do the hug legs onto you. Does that, and can I move? A, I do a barrel to grab this. Not that I need the shield, and I can move over to here. And they're out of energy, so we enter. And, hey, we, we we did everything. Cool. We leave, and a uh, pretty good uh, uh jump for us. Now right, here we are, new area. Your ID, a message from the bank. Your ID passed our algorithm successfully. Get ready to receive a giant restitution. Neat. Yeah, I played all scratch cards. I finally won something. Um, I finally want something. Yay! I don't know which any of those symbols mean. I guess we just earned a little bit of money there. Oh, these are my credits right there. Obviously, duh. Communications. What do we want? Alright, selling 10 or more gets you free hull repair. Selling 20 more gives you a chance to win prizes. Does it also give me a free hull repair? Um, sell all scrap? Uh, it does, but it only repaired it by- it's a free hull repair, but only one hit points. But it's still free repair, though. And we just made a ton of money, though. Pray, your being, karma, credits, mana spins, everything, what? Pray at the altar, what is this? The temple's empty of people, but full of blessing. You take the time to relax in a corner. Someone comes along and mistakes you for a beggar and gives you a bunch of credits. That's a free beer, wonderful. We can use a fancy, uh, bathroom. Sh sure, fancy bathroom, I don't know. Do we gain some XP as well? I'm almost at the, I'm close to level up. It's kind of why it's like shaking there. Communication, what else we got? Let's try and level something up. Oh, you can use credits too. Was it credits all along and not XP? Buy, oh, I don't have the option to train my stuff yet. All right, well, I think we've taken a decent look at the game here. Um, it looks pretty promising. It seems kind of neat. Smash that like button. Let's go.